Hi, I'm Kieran Dixon, editor of Stargate Command, and I'm here with uh, Kelly Vink Castro, uh, who most of you will know is uh, actually the first person ever to appear as Catherine Langford in the Stargate franchise. Um, we're here on the set of Stargate Origins, um, mm. and you probably would recognize that Kelly doesn't normally dress in vintage clothing, um, <laughs> which is pretty cool because it means I can announce that Kelly is actually appearing on Stargate Origins. Yes! Uh, for the first time back at Stargate <laughs> for in two decades? Yes, over two decades. Over two decades. Yes. How does that feel? It feels amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be here. Um, you know, Stargate was such an amazing time in my life and such an amazing film to be a part of. I never would have seen this coming 25 years later to be on a set and connected to such an amazing project. I'm so happy to be here. So, I mean, you, you talk about connections. And yes. You were. Uh, 11 when you were first on Stargate? Yes. Um, does, does, do you feel a connection to the Stargate franchise? You might not have necessarily watched all of the shows, but does it hold a special place in your heart? Absolutely. Um, you know, it was a really even special time in my own life when I was filming this, and so being here and being connected to Stargate again feels really sentimental and really personal, and um, I'm just so happy to, to be here. So probably when they asked you to come back, it was a pretty easy decision. It was a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, how many memories were like rushing through your head when they say, we're doing something new with Stargate, we'd love you to come back? You know, it's so funny because I met Mercedes, right? right? We met about a year ago and it was so random when we met um, doing this little project and it was so cool, she was so amazing. She did not even know that I had been on Stargate it, at that time. Yeah. And then she sent me a message saying she had to tell me about her new project, but she couldn't do it until after Comic-Con. And <laughs> I just said, oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I had no idea yeah. what it was going to be, that it would have any tie to oh, me. Man. And then when I found out what the project was, you know, I understood why she was so excited to connect with me personally. And oh my gosh, and then to be invited back yeah. is just awesome. Yeah. So when they announced it at Comic-Con, did you find out about it through the announcement and then immediately connect the dots or did Mercedes kind of call you straight away and say, yeah, this is what I'm doing? Good question. I actually saw it on Facebook where we see all things. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right. I saw the release and then I messaged her. That's how it went. And I said, oh, now I know why you were so anxious to connect with me and reach out to uh, me. Congratulations. Um, I didn't know at that point that she was going to ask me to do a cameo or participate in any way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the stars have aligned. It's quite cool. That's right. <laughs> so you've been here today um, shooting. We, obviously, we have Ellie Gall, who's playing our new Catherine. Have you given her kind of any words of advice as a Stargate veteran, like the ultimate Stargate veteran? <laughs> I love that. I'm the <laughs> ultimate Stargate veteran. <laughs> One of the so first cool. people to appear on camera on Stargate. That's, so rad. That's the ultimate Stargate veteran. I love it. Um, well, I have not said this to her yet, but I will because it's a great question and my advice for her would be this. You know, I'm a life and relationship coach and so it's the same message that I give people all the time, which is move from the heart. You know, that is the thing about Stargate that was so magical is that everybody was so connected to their hearts from Roland Emmerich to the entire cast to everybody in the crew, every single extra, there was so much heart in that project and it was so fun to go to work every day. And so, Ellie, keep connecting to your heart, moving from your heart, and it's going to be amazing. That's awesome because I, that's definitely a theme that has run through the Stargate franchise. Mm. It's that kind of, that family feel among cast and crew yes. and just that kind of sense of togetherness that you're kind of on a journey together. Yes, um, it was that way. So I mean, it was a real community and family and so much love. It was awesome. Especially as a, an 11 year old actor, that must have been like pretty important. It must be overwhelming kind of working with so many extras and like <laughs> yeah. in the middle of the desert and right. with a giant set piece like the Stargate. Yep. Um, you know what's so funny? I actually got chased by a camel on the set. <laughs> <laughs> and Roland came running over. He was like, cut, cut. And he grabbed me. He said, oh, Kelly, you almost got killed by the camel. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so sweet. And it just was fun. Even something like that, it was fun. And yeah. yes, had it been, 
you know, everybody stressed out and chaotic because of how big it was. It would not have been fun, but it was not that way at all. It was yeah. really a good time. What other memories from that time do you have? Like, is, is there anything other than being chased by a camel that really, <laughs> I don't know if it could beat being chased by a camel, but what else stands out from that time? Um, I mean, just going to the set alone was so extraordinary. I had never seen anything like it before. And so you have, and I had been, I've been saying this all day, and now that I'm saying it on camera, I'm like, I hope this number's right. <laughs> there were so many extras. I mean, hundreds, maybe even thousands, and each one was in the most extravagant costume. It was so amazing to see this. I've never seen anything like it. They had these whole mountainsides carved out. I mean, the Stargate was unbelievable yeah. to see in person. Yeah. And then you have camels, and I mean, it just was, it was so amazing to yeah. go and be a part of something that big and that magical. And, um, and you know, I was there with my dad and my dad is no longer alive. And so even driving here, you know, I really felt the presence of my dad. I feel connected to my dad being here. And uh, I remember having a really good time with him on that trip. So yeah. it, it has a lot more value than, than just even the film or, or the show itself. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. awesome. And then you kind of, like, seeing the kind of on-set experience um, or on-location experience in your case and then getting to go did you go to the premiere and see the movie or what was it like oh seeing yourself gosh. you know seeing it all kind of come together and I mean I was actually 11 when the movie came out and oh really that kind of first kawoosh like and the, the shaking with the gate opened it kind of instantly captured my imagination mm. so I can't imagine what it must have been like when you know you'd seen it in real life you know, I don't think as an 11 year old kid, right, going to the audition and even going to the set, it was really big, but I didn't have the vision for what this was really going to be. And so to see it all put together and to know, oh my gosh, I was a part of something that big yeah. and that has made such a huge impact, you know, that, that piece I, I couldn't see coming. And so it's really cool to, to see that. And I think honestly, when you're saying that, if I could go back, it probably felt just like, <gasps> you know, yeah. like there's not even words. Yeah. Like the awe is so big. Yeah. And now we're going to get to do it all over again so when you cool. see Stargate Origins coming out. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us and thank Absolutely. you coming, for coming on to Stargate Origins. Thank you so much for having me. I'm Thanks. so excited. <laughs>